welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. Yesterday we began to look at Philippians chapter 2 and we picked out a little phrase from verse 2 where Paul said, make my joy complete. And so we are looking at how we can make the pastor joyful. But we are first approaching it negatively. What grieves a pastor? What grieves a pastor? And yesterday I gave you five D words just to recap. Number one is disobedience. Number two is decisions that we make that are contrary to scripture. Number three is deception by Satan mainly in the form of wrong teaching. Number four is defeated living, addictions. And number five is where I allow Satan to use me to disturb and to divide the local fellowship. Now, here is uh, number six. Here is something that uh, causes a pastor to be uh, grieved, and that's the word disease, disease. Now, of course, uh, physical disease uh, is uh, the result of sin, generally speaking. And uh, when God's people fall ill and they are unable to function normally, that brings grief to a pastor. Visiting the sick, praying over the sick, is one of the most important ministries of a pastor. And uh, when people fall ill, a pastor is grieved. And sometimes we bring diseases upon ourselves. Unhealthy eating habits, lack of exercise, lack of good sleep, they can all contribute to diseases of our own making. But disease in general, makes a pastor sad because we want to see God's people living healthy, wholesome lives for God's glory. Number seven would be uh, death. A pastor is grieved when uh, a sheep dies or somebody in the family circle dying. And again, one of the most important ministries uh, of a pastor is to comfort the sorrowing. And it's always not easy uh, to uh, minister uh, to a family that has lost a loved one. And uh, we identify with the grief of the family. We weep alongside them. And we are deeply grieved at the loss of a loved one. Funeral services, again, are never easy. They cause a lot of pain, and yet they are a vital part of life. So a pastor is grieved when God's people die, and some sadly, prematurely, before their time. Number eight, a pastor is grieved when God's people entertain doubt. That's your eighth D word, doubt. When they uh, entertain doubt with regard to God's word. God's love. They may even have doubts about the pastor. Uh, maybe some rumors are circulating and uh, God's people, instead of checking the facts, uh, choose to believe the rumors and they have doubts in their minds about the integrity of the pastor. And this all causes great grief uh, to a man of God. So when there is doubt with regard to God's word, we must make sure that uh, we uh, have it clarified and uh, we come into a place of conviction and strength. And if we hear anything negative uh, about a pastor, make sure that we check the facts and uh, we don't entertain uh, doubts. Number nine, uh, the ninth reason why a pastor is grieved is when God's people live a dubious double life. Two Ds there. Dubious double life. In other words, there is a lack of integrity. 
there is hypocrisy. Uh, God's people say one thing but do something entirely different. Uh, God's people having a secret life, a dark life. And uh, so that grieves a pastor. And how often we are called to uh, counsel uh, in family situations where someone is caught up in a dubious uh, lifestyle. And that grieves a pastor. And number 10 is uh, when... Uh, Someone in the family, God's family, defects to the enemy. Defection. Defection is where uh, God's people, for some reason, maybe some circumstance of life, they defect. And uh, another word for this could be backsliding. And uh, they give up on God. Uh, they give up on the church. They uh, give up on uh, Christian fellowship. And as a result, tragically, they become the losers. And uh, the devil takes over. The world takes over. The flesh takes over. And they pay a very heavy price. So defection to the enemy, to the world, is another cause as to why a pastor is deeply grieved. Now, this list is not exhaustive. I've just given you 10, all beginning with the letter D. And it will be good for us to do a heart check from time to time to see whether we are not falling into these traps and that we are bringing joy to God and to the pastor. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.